Hey, what's up everyone? We are out here at uh, the Alabama Hills recreational area and it's probably one of our all-time favorite boondocking spots ever. Um, the main reason for that is because of all of the climbing that's around. We've been able to climb every single day for the past like eight days, which is crazy. It's so much fun. Um, we've gotten so much better and it's just been a blast. It's also just like a super chill, really relaxed place. Um, we were able to find a spot that like there's no one else at. There's a, there's a ton of places for big rigs, small rigs, tents, whatever. Um, just like a ton of places to camp out here and we were able to find probably one of the best spots out here um, as far as like being secluded also having cell signal we couldn't get for we couldn't get um, like Verizon si Verizon signal at any of our of the other spots that we tried this was the uh, only one and it just happened to be like the most secluded quiet uh, far off the road zero neighbors so I think we got really lucky with this spot. But today, um, as many of you know, uh, we have some trad gear uh, that we've been dying to try out. So we're gonna go try and do a trad route today. Um, and then maybe get some dinner in town. So it's gonna be a fun afternoon. Leave it. <laughs> We made it to the spot where we're gonna climb, but Garrett made a buddy. <laughs> Maybe this will convince Garrett to let me get a horse someday. I'm gonna have to fulfill my dream of becoming a cowgirl. Amen. I rounded this corner and just, he was right there. It scared me. <laughs> he came right up, wanted some pets. It was cute, they're like big dogs. So Garrett's actually done his like first trad route. Um, a couple days ago, and it was just like this really easy, like five to not really vertical or anything, um, crack that really is just practicing like putting the gear in the crack, and you can just like stand straight up and walk up it. So, this will be a little bit different than that, it will just be like a proper mixed route. So, it is gonna be trad up this crack. For ways and then there's some bolts that go up to, all the way to the top. Um, the crack kind of runs out so there's bolts like to fill that in. Trad climbing is when you place your own protection uh, in the rock instead of using the bolts and so you use these are cams and then these are nuts and the idea is you just kind of find a constriction in the crack and you just kind of jiggle these in there and give a little tug. So we're just learning about all of this stuff, so we're not experts by any means, but it's really fun uh, to come to a place like Alabama Hills where there are like some mixed things, like having bolts and being able to play scare at the same time. So that's a really good learning experience and one of the better ways to learn how to do trad if you don't have someone just to teach you. I practice placing these um, cams and nuts a few times, just like if there was ever a crack above us like this, I'd place it and I'd tie my rope into it and kind of bounce test it. And so whenever I've see, had an opportunity to kind of practice placing pieces, I've been doing that for a while, ever since we've had them. So.
sure what it is about this town, but I just really like it. It's so small, but everyone is so nice. It's not too touristy or anything like that. It's just like all around awesome. I don't know, I just really like it. It has everything you need. Tiny grocery store, couple restaurants, a hardware store, climbing store. That's it. I don't know, something about it. So that was a fun afternoon. We're pretty tired from all this climbing we've been doing, um, but we only have one more day left here in Alabama Hills, which is pretty sad actually, because we really have enjoyed our time here. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the evening, finish watching the sunset, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for living life with us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment on this video. Yeah.